Hello, Terraria Enthusiasts! My name is James, and welcome back to the Calamity Mod! So, it's day number 8, which means you have all survived longer than a week, and you're still here. And I really appreciate that, and I will make it up to you by continuing to ramble onwards about whatever I can think of. So, welcome back to Terraria! It's my goal with today's episode to take out the Eater of Worlds. Now, the cool thing about this is that we can do the Eater of Worlds and we can also do the Hive Mind. Now, I haven't found the specific biome that we need yet, so the chances of us doing it today, pretty slim, unless we actually get something from our new Alchemist NPC, which I'm very thankful for. So the goal really is the Eater of Worlds, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Now, it's a pretty interesting day in Britain. Uh, we've got Storm Gareth plaguing the nation. When it comes to naming storms, why Gareth? Gareth is probably the least threatening storm name I could ever hear. I'm really sorry if your name is Gareth. Zeus, though, if you're called Zeus, you can continue listening because you sound like a good storm. Storm Zeus. That's probably already been a storm, though, right? I think it was like... I heard that you could only name them with, like, female names. I thought that was a thing. I don't know if it's our thing here in Britain to, to give them... I don't know, Gareth, though? I'm not feeling Gareth. Yeah, but the cool thing is, well, it's not really a cool thing. I have this giant tree in my garden, my back garden. It's probably like the largest tree that you can have in a back garden and it's still be legal. And it's got this one giant twig that's been hanging off it for about six months. I'm praying today is the day it comes down. It's such an eyesore. So uh, that's going to be cool. I'll let you know the update on the twig, but it's still standing strong. Since the last time I mentioned it, which was probably about six months ago. So having a look at this, you do sell gravitation potions. You sell them for four gold. Wow. Uh, Alright, I'm going to buy endurance though today. I'm also going to buy thorns. And these will be my potions I take into battle. Because we are going to go do the Eater of Worlds. Before we do that, however, I want to get some chains. And I also want to get some life crystals. That's right, and I want to go down here, and I want to turn them into a collection of heart lanterns. Very nice. Heart lanterns. Cool. Sorry, they just sounded great to say. Do you know what word's great to say, and I was thinking about this today because it fits in really well? So we're going to use a rogue class, um, because I think the mana build we built yesterday was a little weak, and I think especially because we're playing Calamity, using uh, jungle armor... It's a bit of a sin. I don't know if I'll give it a full sin. Maybe half a sin. I'm doing Lent already, so I'm kind of already, you know, repenting my sins. So I feel comfortable already. No chocolate. No mana class. So I'm going to use the rogue class. But here's the word I was thinking that sounded great. So my mum is Scottish. She still sounds Scottish. We've lived in England for a very long time. I was born in England. And my dad was born in England. But he grew up in Scotland. So he's very thick Scottish accent. Every now and again. Both of them, it's more like when they're on the phone, right? If they're on the phone when I was a kid, it'd be like, Hey, how you doing, lad? Do you know what I mean? Really Scottish. If there's anybody Scottish listening to this, I actually do apologise because it's pretty bad. But here's the word I was thinking of. Rogue. Rogue in Scottish would be like, rogue. Is that right? It sounds about right. I don't think I've ever heard my parents say the word rogue. But I'm guessing it sounds like brogue. And I'm pretty sure I've heard brogue before. And that's like brogue. I don't know. It's got a nice roll of a tongue to it. I will ask my parents soon. And I will get back to you on that one. So here's uh, here's what I've been doing. I've been reforging my weapons. So the micro root is now unreal. So it's pretty damn good. And I've never used the micro root to... Uh... Oh, okay. So this is interesting. Sidetrack. The fungal clump. One of my favorite things in the game. It's a, it's a summoning weapon. Do you know, because it's an accessory, I didn't really see it like that. But I guess it is. So yeah, I, I want to use the, the rogue class. I haven't used the micro route ever. You know, legitimately. I always just throw it away. I'm always like, bang that boy in the chest. I'll see you in a few months. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready to begin. I gave myself a little bit of time there just to, uh, just to get the giggles out, really. Just to get whatever nonsense I could think of out of my system. Oh yeah, with this storm as well, Storm Gareth. I have no internet. <laughs> I was going to set up um, the stone block mod for Minecraft today. Because uh, I mentioned it yesterday. And then everybody already knew about it. I thought it was like new or, 
it was like uncommon. Now you all know about it, so I was going to uh, set it up and maybe give it a try, and if I liked it, maybe record it, I don't know. Um, because I think that'd be really fun. I've been looking for other stuff that's similar to Terraria that I think you guys would kind of mesh well with. Because, you know, at the end of the day, um, I know you guys listen to me just ramble on uh, for the fun of me rambling on. But I do want you to be able to enjoy a little bit what you're seeing. <laughs> it is important. Uh, but anyway, uh, I can't download it because the internet's down because of, uh, because of the storm. Storm Gareth. So I guess me bad-mouthing Gareth is kind of backfired in my face a little bit. All right. There we go. Get it in the head. So, if you don't know what I'm doing, I'm trying to stand still to, uh, to to buff up the rogue stuff. But I'm sure you guys know that. Right? You know you know your stuff. Okay. I guess it might be best if we just split it up a bunch. I'm not the greatest fan of this, uh, this little attack that it's doing, though. Alright, I'm going to buff up again. I want some of these berries. Thank you for my berries. Alright, I actually I can't stand around anymore. It's getting too hectic now. Maybe I could stand here. Nope. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to win this one. I think I'm going to lose it because I was kind of messing around a little bit. Messing around too much. That's the problem. Okay. I want some of these hearts at the bottom. Oh, come on. We can do this. i tell you one thing I get confused with from, you know, just to, just to talk about because I've played too many mods. Ah, ah, come on. That was going to be a good fight. Uh, but one of the things I get confused with, because i played way too many mods now, is when I'm playing Calamity, whenever I see a heart on the floor, I'm like, oh, that heart's going to disappear in a second. But it's not Calamity. I'm thinking of Terraria Overhaul. Terraria Overhaul has that free heart system where if a pot breaks off into a heart, it will drop three tiny hearts. But that's not the case, is it? Um, Let's see what we can do to improve. We could... Take some more buffs. I'm going to take some buffs. Yeah, I'm going to... So I've got regen. I've got another iron skin. Boom, boom. I'm going to take one of these, one of these. I'm also going to take a hunter. Hmm. Now, let's speak to uh, to Lillian. Which instantly makes me think of Harry Potter. Okay, so... I'm just trying to think, what can you do for Rogue? <laughs> Rogue is such an interesting one. Does Calamity... Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't mean to show that. Uh, oh, wow. This is fancy. Look at that. Nice. So, Sunshine, Dopamine, and the Greater Danger Sense potions. What else have you got? Where's Calamity? Oh, it's in here. They're just, there are just none to... Uh, Non to unlock. So what what does make you happy? Is that like give you the, the happy buff from the sunshine? Cause I was talking about that the other day, just in general. And maybe this is what we need. Uh what else do we take? Let's go back to vanilla. This is fancy, I like this by the way, uh potion NPC mod. <laughs> uh Hmm. I think I'm just gonna go with that. I think I am just gonna go with that. I think that might do it. Now, let's have a little look. Do I have any vile mushrooms around? I've got four vile mushrooms, so I need two more. And let's see. Do I have any pieces of rotten meat? Rotten. I've got seven pieces of rotten meat. Ooh. Delish. It's always this It's this new thumbnail. <laughs> uh, not this new thumbnail, but this new texture pack. Really throws me for a loop sometimes. Like, I'll look at an item and I just won't recognize what it is. I'm still convinced that this weapon is, uh, is the bomb.com, though. So I am going to continue using it. But what I will do... How many orbs have we got? Oh, one, two, three. All right. I'm going to go set these up. I'm going to start blowing them up real quick. This is the final one. I think uh, I think we've got a clean set. I didn't realize there was two piled together just off to the right. So I'm pretty pleased that we've got a full set. But man, I can't wait for my internet to come back. I tell you what, though. It's causing a bit of a distraction, the internet, at the minute. Um, because yesterday I got a new... Uh, See, I don't know. I don't know if you're allowed to say brands in Terraria videos. I have no idea. I'm going to say it anyway. Uh, I got a new skybox in my bedroom, right? It was part of that thing I was mentioning the other day about feeling like an adult because I got this second thing for free. But anyway, I got this new skybox in my bedroom. And now, when I was a kid, nobody I knew had sky in the bedroom because it required, like, uh, drilling in a bunch of, like, holes for wires into your house. So nobody was really that keen on it. Plus, it was expensive. But now they've got this system where... It's all just streamed over the internet, so you plug the box in, in your room, and then over the internet, you've got every single channel you need, and all the movies and box sets, blah, 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 right? I'm currently re-watching Game of Thrones. 
but it is a massive distraction because I, I would rather watch TV in my bedroom than I would in my own living room. And that's because, and I've said this before, but it's because I've got terrible eyesight. And I can't be bothered to wear glasses all the time. That's the truth of it. So I, um, so I'd rather just watch or play games in my room because the TV's a lot closer. You know, in, in my living room, it's all nicely spaced out. It's all nice and, nice and, I don't know, organized or whatever. My room, though, not so much. Not so much. I've got a nice telly. It's nice and close to the bed. It's just, it's fantastic, right? So I'm kind of glad the internet's down because I don't know if you'd be getting an episode. I think I'd be watching Game of Thrones, <laughs> which is a great show. And I'm very excited for the final season. So I've been, uh, been re-watching the whole show, although I've pretty much come to the end of my binge session anyway. But I have been watching the Umbrella Academy as well. Like I, I mentioned this yesterday, I binged... We, what time did we... We binged from like 9 o'clock until 12. So we, we watched about three episodes. So it was good. I, I'm still enjoying it. I'm about halfway through now, so I've got the rest of the half to go. The only thing that, that's wrong with this show, and it's definitely not spoilery, they overuse music. It's like they've gone and watched Suicide Squad and gone... Yeah, that's it. It's a bit of music. Got a fight scene, whack a bit of music on it. And I like that. I like it when a, when a film uses like a bit of music at the right time. Like, for example, I don't know if you've ever seen Shaun of the Dead. It's a fantastic zombie movie. They have this scene where like they put money in the jukebox and it doesn't come on. Or like it does come on at the wrong time when these zombies are attacking. Um, and it plays Don't Stop Me Now by Queen. It's fantastic. And this is kind of like the same thing. But they're like... Let's just keep using music. Oh, I didn't put the heart lanterns up. Oh, well, that was pointless. Um, so, like, for example, one fight scene had three songs. Three full-length songs. And it's like, cut the fight scene down a little bit. Oh, hey, the worm scarf. You look interesting, my friend. Right, so the hasty heart of darkness gives you 10% increased damage while you have the heart attack debuff. Increases your chance of getting the heart attack debuff. Rage mode does more damage. You gain rage over time. Revenge mode drop. Now, I don't know if I remember this being as good of an item as it is today. Because that is actually, I would say, pretty decent. Considering the fact that, like, I've not been using rage at any point. I think you've all seen that. So I am actually a fan of that. I think that's a, a good item. I don't think it regen rage when I last used it. It might have done, but, you know... <laughs> Can't trust me for that. Uh, to remember that. The Eater of Worlds! Perhaps it was just a giant worm infected by a microbe, given centuries to feed and grow its festering body. Seems likely, given the origins of this place. Wow, so I just killed something that's been around for, for centuries. Is that right? Jesus. Killing down history. Uh, the corruption. Ah, the rotten and forever deteriorating landscape of infected life. Brought upon by a deadly microbe long ago, it is rumoured that the microbe was created through experimentation by a long dead race. That's right. It's a, uh, a dead race of... Because it said they were long, so I'm guessing that they're snakes. So you best watch out for Python. I don't know if I can trust a dude like that. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's put all this uh, this junk away anyway. I, I just wanted to get it out of the way just to just to say we've done it really. Now, I will grab some buffs again. I'm going to keep these on me. I'm going to spend a little bit of money here again. So I'm going to grab these two and this. That's the loot pool. And I'm also going to buy some grav. <laughs> Sorry, I completely forgot about these. Yeah, I'm going to have to buy some grav. Now... I'm going to have to buy two, actually, because this might take me a little while. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly through the world. We're going to zoom it on out. Nice. I'm going to fly through and try my best to find whatever I can find. This is already a giant planetoid. I'm very grateful for you, sir. There's stuff inside, right? I remember this from long ago. Is it worth going inside? That's a question for you guys, because I'm not going to do that today. But now that we've discovered the planetoids, it is time to, to maybe think about conquering them. Uh, and I will do that. I'm going to build something in the sky eventually. It'll probably be in that giant lava one. Although it's kind of already got its own structure, really. I feel like I'm taking away from it. Oh, sky pool. I like the sky pools, truthfully. Because it mixes up the, the pools of, in the sky. <laughs> it mixes up the islands in the sky, right? But they are a little bit useless. 
You only need them for one thing. Oh, look, a queen bee. Nice. We've still got queen bee to do. Now, let's see what we've got in here. If we've got a lucky horseshoe, I'll be pleased about that. Because I do actually want one. All right, it's a star fury. And I'll take the silver coins. And I'll leave the rest. Oh, what's up there? Okay, it's another, uh, it's another island. Another planetoidy boy. It's got a little campfire, this one. Quite adorable. Yeah, I'm really just looking for the crimson one. And in my world, the crimson one was a lot lower. So I'm worried about being in these higher ones. Ooh, more Queen Bee as well. That's good. It gives you lots of chance. Now, the reason I went this way is because in my world, my last world, it was on this side. I'll tell you what, one thing. I haven't been in the, the dungeon yet. So I do want to go in the dungeon at some point and check that out. All right, I'm going to leave you guys for a little second. I'm going to go find this because I, I, I reckon I could uh, I could probably be here for another 10 minutes. <laughs> hey, look at that. Nice. What was that weird noise? Did you guys hear that weird noise? That little thump. Okay. So here we are. I don't <laughs> know how to summon the brain of Cthulhu just yet. I reckon this is just a chance. I reckon you can probably buy it at this point from somebody else. Maybe. But it is pretty much in the exact same position that my uh, my last one was. So I'm pleased about that. So, yeah. I'm going to... Uh, yeah, I'm going to go home. And I'm going to check out all these NPCs. So let's zoom in on in again. I love a nice zoom. So where to begin? I think Dryad, maybe. So, yeah. There we go. Nice. And she also sells the alternate items. I'm not going to be buying the alternate items. What's this? The Goblin Battle Standard summons a Goblin Army. Oh, I love that. I love that sprite. I thought it was a banner at first. You can buy all of them. That's, oh, I like that. I like that you can literally just buy all of them. All right, let's go and do it. Oh, my God. Look at this. <laughs> I love these. Oh, okay. All right, I'm super pumped about this. Now, when I showed this off in a texture pack video, everyone was like, oh, I get these all the time. I think those people were mobile players because in mobile... They're super common. You can have like two or three a world. And I think they're larger on mobile. I think you can get like ones with uh, additional rooms. To my understanding, the PC only has one room. Or am I wrong? Because I might be wrong on that. But I do have this feeling that mobile has a second room for extra content. So we shall have to see. But I'm always excited when I see this. Now, say it with me guys. Flying carpet. Flying carpet. Okay, flying carpet, right? Let me open this up. Oh, waffles, why? I hate the Pharaoh's clothes so bad. They ruin every adventure. They really do. Waffles, why? I've said this a million times, but if you guys don't know, my friend Waffles sprited the Pharaoh's clothes. Uh, right. Uh, down we go. Yeah, I'm not seeing a second room, guys. <laughs> Unless there is literally one and I don't know about it. But I'm going to survey all of you and I'm going to collect mass data about these pyramids. Although they're so freakishly rare. I, I hope 1.3.6 corrects that. Because I do miss them. I really do. They make me feel nostalgic for classic Terraria. Okay, so... Let's look here. Where's my... Alright, my crimson's right above. I also want to go check out the dungeon. Just because we're probably very close to it now. And I reckon it's this way. Oh wait, this is the... It's not this way. Okay, because this is... This is, um... The ice biome's the other way. And it's, it's on the same side as the ice biome. Okay, and down we fall. And up we go. It's a lot harder when you zoomed in. To, to fully grasp where it's going to be. Alright. Brain of Cthulhu time. I'm excited for this. I like the Brain of Cthulhu. It's kind of grown on me a little bit more. Alright. So. Buff up. We will stand. There we go. Recharge that. Slap one of these bad boys down. Because why not? We're going to treat it with proper seriousness. Because it is level to the Eater of Worlds. Now looking at this. I want to swap these over. Begin. I'll show you what I'm going to do. First off, my goal is to get all of these little uh, these little creepers, right? And to do that... Oh, my God. 
Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> it won't let me use my items then. Right, where's it gone? Right, here it is. Right, to do that, I'm going to use my rage. Oh, my rage didn't really do all that much. <laughs> it's all good, though, because my little uh, fungal clump is going to take care of the rest. Yeah, these creepers are not too bad. This is really the main bit of the fight, isn't it? Just getting rid of these mad lads. Oh, my God. I think the fungal clump is so good. <laughs> it's literally like demolishing half of them just on its own. It's just like getting them in a little bunch as well. That's what I like. It's not like, oh, I'm just going to go for one eyeball. It's like, I'll grab a few. Thank you very much. All right. We're almost through it now. Okay. God, how many eyeballs do you have? What is it that this game in eyeballs? The most iconic boss is literally an eyeball. This thing just has tons of eyeballs. To defeat the Moon Lord, you destroy its eyeballs. <laughs> There's something going on. I don't know if you guys are picking up on it, but I'm picking up on the secret hidden meanings in Terrarian. And eyeballs, Illuminati, triangles, Doritos. I'm definitely thinking it. Hope you guys are too. Wait, so how come this little... How did this little creeper come about then, if I've already destroyed them all and it's doing this phase? You know what I mean? Okay, there we go. That is the Brain of Cthulhu. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Any reason to celebrate, my friends. All right, open this up. We get a Brain of Confusion. It's nice. I'm glad that the sprites are done for this. I, I didn't know because I hadn't played Crimson with the texture pack, but everything seems to be done. And it looks great. I'm, I'm really pleased with it. So that's it. I think that's it for today's episode. Yeah, I, I've got everything I need to, uh, to have done. Done. I'm feeling pretty confident about that. So tomorrow, let's have a little look at what we got on the list. We got the hive mind. I always like doing this. And we also have the old one's army. I don't have a tavern keeper yet, surprisingly. Usually I find them and just leave them. But I would like to do something Leviathan did in his series a long time ago where he had in the sky, he'd converted the sky island into like a course to do it. And I really liked that. I thought that was a really cool design. So I think I want to do something similar and it will give me a good excuse to do this event because I usually skip the event all throughout the game and then I get to the end game and I don't have any money to buy any of the, uh, the sentries and stuff. So yeah, I think I'm going to check that out. Right, but that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a big fat thumbs up. It goes a long way, it really does. And if you're new around here, click that subscribe button. Right, thank you all for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.